good morning students in last class we discussed all the whatever various uh, terminologies of data warehousing and uh, data mining uh, you know that uh, all uh, by means of the definition data warehousing is extracting some information from the huge amount of data whereas data mining means extracting some knowledge by means of some functionalities that occur in data mining with the help of some interesting patterns okay so this is need of, this is called as data mining so consider uh, from first topic onwards we will discuss first topic is why we need data mining so you know that volume of information is increasing every day so we know that uh, in real world scenario there is a huge amount of data increasing day by day so so that we can handle from business transactions scientific data sensor data pictures and videos so on so by means of these various scenarios there are some increasing of data so we need a some we need a system that will be capable of extracting essence of information available and that can automatically generate report views or summary of data for better decision making so you by why using this uh, uh, why uh, while we while there is a rapid growth of this data so if you want to retrieve some useful information for uh, or some some set of information a set of some uh this uh, some important data from the huge amount of data for a better decision to get a good result we have to use a data mining okay if there is a huge amount of data available in real world if you want to retrieve some information for a better result we use data mining for example just a simple uh, uh, if i want to clarify our data warehousing and a database and uh, and uh, what do you mean data mining so if you go for if you go to a kgf okay so in kgf there is a whole uh, there is a lot of gold diggers right so for example a database is nothing but huge amount of data the mountains what you see in kgf is a huge amount of data in that uh, uh, in that database you want to retrieve some some gold dig that is nothing but uh, we use some techniques to dig the particular raw material so that you get a data called as gold so whatever you are digging the particular rock you get a gold with a improper manner okay now you apply some techniques that's so that is nothing but you apply some functionalities so that by means of applying some functionalities on data warehouse you get some knowledge okay similarly if you want if you are applying some mechanisms for a raw gold so that you get a original gold purification of gold so this is the concept of database data warehouse and data mining okay so why data mining is used in business okay for in most cases the data mining is used for various scenarios like automatic summarization of data okay for example if you see there is a particular uh, uh, growth of this year to next year okay if i want a growth of this year to next year now i will summarize last year transactions into one thing and now you i will summarize the transaction in next year so that i will get a comparison so that automatically you get a knowledge this is the by addition mac okay extracting essence of information stored already you discussed that in gold mining also there is some lot of gold okay by default you are getting the whatever you called uh, gold is not a proper manner now use some applying some use some functionalities so that there will be improper uh, there will be purification of gold from improper sense okay so discovering patterns in raw data okay so this is the simple scenario so this is the discovering patterns in raw data is one of the important concept for example this can be useful like this now uh, if you take particular cricket match called as ipl in ipl there is a um, some scenarios like 
man of the match and man of the series so man of the match is a current day to day transactions whereas uh, what we call man of the series is a historical data now you can identify on which platform he is playing on which circumstances he played so on which which uh, uh, analysis he on which in which cl uh, climate he played okay on which platform he played so all will comes as a patterns okay by means of this patterns you can easily identify the data so simply now we can say that we need data mining and it is useful for business purpose simply now you can say what is data mining means it is extracting information from huge sets of data there is a information in some cases there is some knowledge base extracting knowledge from huge sets of data extracting the gold information extracting the uh, nuggets of information is called as a uh data mining so we can say that we can say that data mining is the process of uh, the procedure of mining knowledge from data mining knowledge from data mining gold from rocks i have you understand mining rock from mining gold from rocks mining ore from rocks so similarly mining what we are mining means ultimate goal of data mining is having some knowledge okay ultimate goal of mining is getting some knowledge so the ultimate goal of data mining is to proceed of mining knowledge from data the information or knowledge extracted so can be used over any of the following applications so these following applications are market analysis fraud detection customer retention production control and scientific exploration so all these comes under you are retrieving some knowledge based on this data mining concept you are going for the machine learning okay right next this is the first topic before already this can be uh, this can be explained by one of the madam already i posted this particular topic but i am giving uh, some information now kdd uh, is nothing but knowledge discovery from database so knowledge discovery from database or data this can be called as data mining and this is the one of the technique to get a uh, information from the database okay while others viewing the data viewing other others view data mining as an essential step in process of knowledge discovery so by means of this step only you are retrieving some knowledge here is the list of steps in all in the knowledge discovery process we have one two three four five okay so one two three four five finally these are the five things called as knowledge presentation two three and all these comes are all these comes under pre processing techniques so so the four uh, techniques that we get some knowledge with the help of uh, pre processing techniques and uh, finally the data available in here and uh, data mining and here we use some functionalities the by using some interesting patterns we get a knowledge okay so here the first one is i have a data within different scenarios different uh, scenarios like it is in the 2d format called as database 3d format in called as data uh, warehousing and single format called as what we call as flat files so all comes under this various databases okay so we have various databases now we apply various databases various techniques called as pre processing techniques on various databases so that you use some pre processing techniques called as cleaning integration transformation and reduction so there we have a selection and reduction do have all together we have five uh, called as cleaning integration selection transformation and reduction there is here there is no reduction but there is a five important steps for a pre processing techniques this can be discussed in second unit called as cleaning integration and selection transformation and reduction so cleaning is nothing but we have a noisy data so if you are digging something means there is a uh, in a appropriate manner appropriate manner now you uh, you do some cleaning process so that the cleaning process if, if you do the cleaning process you get a good data now the good data is in different format now you integrate in a data warehouse format integration is a process of whatever you have cleaned the data that is should be integrated in different repositories are integrated in a single repository that repository is called as data warehouse now in the data in data warehouse you have a 
integrated data now you have to select which has to you are doing some knowledge base okay for example i have five items among five items now you get a one item for knowledge purpose you have to select that that item okay i have all to in, in simply we have i have 10 items initially see in databases and the flat files and the data warehouses or anything else we have a different repositories though we have thousand items now you are cleaned the thousand items into hundred items now you integrate that hundred items into five items okay after your five after you are finding that five items now you have to now you have to wait one uh, wait for a second Now, okay. Now you have to select among you are integrated into five items. Now you have to select one item which is useful for knowledge purpose, so that that item has to transform in a data warehouse format. That is a multi-dimensional data. Initially, flat files is a one-dimensional data. Databases are two-dimensional data. Now, database swing is a three-dimensional data. Now, you are these three are combined uh, with a pre-processing techniques, and it will be applicable in single format. Okay, clear. Now, you have to re reduce the whole amount of data into one thing, and finally, you have to be in the data in data mining process okay in data mining process there is some functionality is called as classification and uh, decision trees regressions outlier analysis and uh, clustering methods these are the remaining third unit fourteenth and fifteenth and sixteenth these uh, remaining whatever discussed in data mining functionalities will be fourth unit fifteenth unit, and sixteenth unit. okay you use some functionalities so that in functionalities you apply a particular path called as what we call interesting measures now you apply this interesting matter interesting measures and you get some knowledge that knowledge will be presented in a picture format like uh, bar trace graphs and all comes under this one so this is complete kdd process we have reprocessing techniques called as cleaning for noisy data so integration combining various into one thing selection to get uh, in knowledge base you have to take one item and data transformation the data transformation is nothing but converting whatever the various category of data in a data warehouse format and reducing overall large, or large data into large small data now you apply data mining at your large functionalities so that you when you apply the functionality you will get you will get knowledge with the help of pattern evolutions that is about interesting measures like threshold and uh, what we call as uh, threshold value and uh, what we another one is support and confidence all comes under pattern evolutions and last one is you have to represent that knowledge in a meaningful manner with the help of uh, uh, what we call as flow charts flow charts bar graphs like all this comes under okay so this is nothing but kdd process and this can be evaluated with the help of like this we have to take in various what we call as repositories and stored in database server that is nothing but olap server now you are taking you are pick up one frequent item which help with the help of functionalities and you apply it in with a interesting patterns and it will it will be represented in graph closure this can be this is the architecture of data mining say this is a representation all see this is a data mine here and this is a data mining this is a pattern evolution this is a pattern evolution the knowledge can be represented with the help of graphical user so this is the database what we call as this is a databases and data warehouse see this is databases this is the databases and you are storing in a database so the representation of both diagrams so the mm, bibliographic meaning is same but uh, the difference is that the presentation now here you get a knowledge here knowledge can be obtained with in a data mining engine because you have to choose one item okay and it should be placed in 
at using some interesting patterns and it has to represent it in graphical user so knowledge can be gathered knowledge can be used knowledge can be put up put in with the help of all these three important steps called as data mining in game and pattern simulation and graphical user so this is the end of our first topic okay tomorrow we will discuss second topic okay i hope you understand what is data mining and uh, what is the architecture of data mining and what is the kdd process in data mining i hope you understand thank you